Greetings people. My musical partner Louis and myself have been making music since the late 80s and right at the start we had a cassette based four track recorder. Shortly thereafter we had an Atari running Cubase so all the sounds we made came out of a small number of synthesizers and we would occasionally borrow synths. Our instrumental skills were minimal. I'm a guitar player so some of our very early tracks had some guitar on them. As we got into the 90s and the 2000s we had far better recording equipment some of the kit that I've still got. We had good sequencers, we had access to samples and sample sets everything went up to a different level. As our musical interests developed we found ourselves in a position where we were able to create all the rhythms that we wanted to the standard we wanted. We were able to create bass lines and bass sounds we wanted to the standard we wanted. But what was always lacking was something that would do melody lines. Fine if you just wanted a synthesizer line, but sometimes we wanted something a little more organic, a little more human. Our guitar playing was never really up to the standard required, plus by then I think we'd moved on from guitar based music. At some point various sample libraries became available so for the first time we were able to use instruments like the oud. Somebody in a studio somewhere had played a bunch of riffs in an appropriate key and at a defined tempo and we were able to use those in our recording so for the first time it sounded like there was a real musician playing something real in the tracks. Our Barbary Lion album is a good example of that. We've always wanted to move on from that somehow to the point where the melodies in our tracks are more human, more written by us, not just randomly played by somebody and taken off a sample library. And if you've been listening to music by Secret Archives of the Vatican or Thousand Yard Prayer since the beginning of 2019, you will have noticed a very significant change in what we've been doing. A gentleman named Eduardo Tarillonti produced uh, what you could call a sample library, but in fact it's a lot more than that. It's called Ancient Era Persia. As well as having massively multi-sampled a lot of instruments, there's mechanisms within the software to add all the human elements. The, so for example with the various flutes, there's overblowing, there's bending of notes, there's different kinds of vibrato. The staccato notes, there's mordant notes. And if you've heard any of our albums since the start of 2019, you will have heard that sample library pretty much in every track. It also has some amazing percussion sounds, although I've got a fair old collection of frame drums here, which I do sometimes sample and then use while programming. Ancient Era Persia has some st stunningly amazing percussion sounds in there. It also provides pre-programmed or rather pre-played rhythms in there which are occasionally used but I still prefer to uh, do the programming myself. A few months back I acquired another one of his sample libraries. This one is called Era 2 Medieval Legends and it has a whole stack of medieval instruments and some vocals and then I bought an add-on called Vocal Codex which has a whole bunch of medieval style vocals and once again an immense amount of control is available. A few of our recent tracks have featured those vocals but it's something I haven't really dug deeply into just yet. What I'm very excited about at the moment is a third sample library from Eduardo that I acquired only a few days ago. This one is called Dark Era and it is instruments and performances from Northern European pagan traditions, Norwegian, Danish Viking music on original or rather recreated original instruments from that era and it has things in it like throat singing, masses of percussion and so on. I've been listening to a lot of Norse music by artists such as Wadruna and Heilung, finding it quite inspirational. And my challenge now is to somehow bring some of those sounds and ideas and some of that vibe into our Middle Eastern flavoured 
science fiction orientated music. Right. Did a track recently called The Varangian. The Varangians were Vikings who went to Constantinople and became part of the Roman Emperor's guard. And as time went by, the Vikings were gradually replaced by Saxons from England. So there's a tenuous connection there. It's an area where the Norse intersected with the Near and Middle East. So there's scope there for some tracks, so that's kind of an area I'm exploring, but I'm also kind of digging quite deep into science fiction themes at the moment. A bunch of recent tracks by both Thousand Yard Parade and Secret Archives of the Vatican have dug into Dune and the Foundation series, both of which have got films or TV programmes coming up in the near future. They are classic science fiction that Louis and myself both grew up on, so it's a good area to explore. We've spoken before about the fact that science fiction so often seems to be an American space future, or a British one in some cases. We dare to imagine the human race in a science fiction future that is culturally not particularly American or British, but maybe has its roots in the Arabian world or the Persian world. We're just playing. Anyway, expect some tracks to be digging into some different directions in the near future. Now, one area that we have never really done a lot with, and it makes me sad, I would like to do a lot more, and that's working with vocalists or rappers. Anytime we've tried to work with rappers, it's not really come off, and there seems to be this obsession with always referring to drugs, which we're pretty much against. I would like to work with vocalists, and I don't know how we would do it, and I don't know how it would fit. We'd have to find someone who could grasp the, the vision we have for the music and, and somehow become part of that. Hey, if you know anybody, get in touch. In the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram. All of our music is available from Bandcamp. It eventually turns up on places like Spotify a few weeks later. Follow us in all those places and keep an eye out for new tracks. At the moment, we're managing to get a new track out about at least once a week, so... Um, yeah, we're having fun. Thanks very much for listening. Catch you later.